Hello and welcome to the second video in this tutorial series showing you how to make Pong uh, using Unity in C Sharp. So let's just jump straight into Unity and we'll go for a new project. We'll call this um, the project name Pong Tutorial. And you can set a location here if you like. And you want to pick 2D uh, because we don't need any of the 3D features uh, to make this project. So Let's create the project. Okay, this is uh, a blank scene in a new project in Unity. Now, the only thing that's here is the camera. So, what we're going to do, start off doing is we're going to get the, the physical components. We're going to put them all in, and that will include um, putting in the boundaries. Uh, these boundaries will run along the top and the ball will collide with them. We will put in the paddles and we will also put in the ball. So to do that, um, first thing we need is a simple texture. So you can go into your favorite um, image uh, editing program. You can create a, it doesn't really matter, a 64 by 64 white texture is fine. And you can save it. You want to save it in the folder. And you want, you can call it uh, called Pong Texture. Okay. Now we will create a 2D object sprite. Now you won't actually be able to see this sprite yet because there is no uh, texture attached to it. So if we go into the Assets folder now click down here and we drag the texture in. Um, now you can see it. Um, but it's not really a very good shape for um, you know covering the whole top of the screen so we're going to need to change that. Now to do that we can look at the game, the game objects transform here. Now that stores information on and allows you to change the position uh, the rotation and the scale. So we're interested in the scale here. So let's change it to 30 um, to cover the whole screen. It's very thick so we'll also reduce the Y scale to 0 0.4. Um, now as it stands it's just an image so if a ball were to actually uh, run into it, it wouldn't actually collide with it, it would go straight through it. So we need to add a component to handle collisions and in this case it will be a, a box collider 2D. So we just need to add that. And we can call this, um, actually we'll just duplicate it first. So you click on the game object you want to duplicate which should be new sprite and you press Control D. So that'll make a second one. Let's call this one top boundary and we'll call this one um, bottom boundary okay now it might be better to split these views so we can just see a little better what we're doing here um, so we're going to move the bottom boundary down to the bottom, the top to the top. So to do that, we want to click on this uh, Move tool here. And we we'll grab this arrow and we drag it down. To, that's fine. Now we click on the top boundary. And we're going to drag that up. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is, we'll, let's make the paddles. So. We want to once again make a 2D object sprite. Um, we will drag the texture into it again. We can just use the same texture for all of them. It's fine. And once again, it's not it's not really a great it's not really a great shape for being a paddle. So uh, in this case, we want the X to be a little thinner. So let's maybe just reduce that to. 0 0.4 the X scale in the transform and let's change the Y scale to let's see 1.5 perhaps and okay that's probably about right um, once again we're going to need to add 
some additional components to it. Uh, we're going to need to add the box collider because it's going to the paddle will be colliding with the boundaries and the ball, so we want it to be able to handle collisions. Uh, we're also going to want to add um, a rigid body 2D. Now, this basically will put it under the, the game object under the control of the physics system in Unity, and it'll also allow you to adjust some of the physical properties. So let's do that. And once again, since we need uh, we need two of them, so let's click on the paddle and duplicate it. Now we'll call this one paddle one, and we will move it over to this side of the screen once again using the move tool. And just so it's about here is fine. Now we'll just we'll click on the second paddle. We'll name it paddle two and we will bring it across to this side okay um, yeah just looking at the they do seem a little small so let's, let's increase the size a little to two um, so what we will do next is we'll add the ball so once again we're going to go to game object we're going to add a 2D object sprite now we're going to want a circular, um, a circular sprite this time. Let's just have a look. Um, as it happens, there is a circular one here. It's a UI element. Um, if you don't have it, you can just draw basically a transparent circle and import that into Unity the same way we are save it into the folder the same way as we did the last time with the palm texture. So let's just double click on that, and that'll give us. It's a very very small ball. So we we will change the scale of it. Let's just go two and two to see how that works for now. And once again, we're going to need to add some additional components. So let's just add. This time we're going to add a circle collider, um, and we will add a rigid body as well. Rigid body two D. So those are all the basic um, physical components of the game. Um, so let's just see what happens now. We'll press play and let's just see what happens. So you can see that the, the paddles, anything with a rigid body fell and the reason for that is because it's being affected by gravity. The You may remember that the boundaries only have box colliders so they will handle collisions but they're not affected by gravity so that's why these uh, game objects have stopped there, the, the two paddles and the ball. So, in the next video, we'll cover adjusting the, pro the rigid body properties of these components, and we'll probably also start getting into a little scripting, maybe to get the paddles moving. So, I'll see you in the next video.